card. So, I just want to show some of the uh, sensitivities around the compass alignment on the Benro Polaris. Excuse the brush cutter. So here we have a compass pointing due north. Little cheap compass. Pretty simple, straightforward. Watch what happens when you take the compass to the Polaris. So watch now. I'm up against the side. It's pretty much the location where Ben wrote, says you should put your phone. I don't even have a camera on here, so there's no battery or anything creating extra um, magnetic interference. Just the Astro module. Watch this little compass. There's a huge amount of magnetic interference within the Benro itself. I've lined the Benro up as close as possible to magnetic north. The trick is, is go down as far as you can. But if you pull it away a little bit, you're sorted. So the trick is, grab something as a spacer. I'm sure we've all got lens caps, lens hoods, lens boxes, something with two parallel edges to it. Take your new parallel edge, drop it up against the bottom of the Benro, and obviously substitute the phone for the actual compass. Now, as I move up and down, up and down, you'll see the compass doesn't move. Now, obviously I'm using my, my handheld mobile to actually film this, but if you do the same thing with the actual mobile, you'll notice the same thing. So, space your camera, cam space your mobile out from the Benro, and you'll have better alignment first time out than if you actually just put your mobile against the unit. Benro pretty much recommends that you put your mobile in that location. As you can see, we've got an error of what, almost 18 degrees. Drop it down a little bit, swings the other way. Things go even worse if you actually bring the compass towards the Astro module. So if you have a mobile phone that's got a very sensitive compass, which is possible, you'll be thrown out all sorts of wackiness. So there is a sweet spot right at the base, but very difficult to get hold of. The amount of magnetic interference that the Polaris actually creates itself is ridiculous. I mean, literally my hand is running on that USB-C cable there. So run your phone on a bit of plastic, piece of wood, it's parallel and profit. You're going to have a much better experience. Your tracking will be better. You'll have less chance of smudging stars. I mean, it's absolutely rock solid a few centimeters away. Hopefully everyone could hear that. Hopefully the visuals are enough for showing the principle. Just put a spacer block between the two. Obviously, it would be great if Benro could allow you to actually enter in the degrees instead of relying on the on the actual mobile to do it It'd be great now come along do it and I can enter in it's at two degrees or 358 degrees should I say into the actual app rather than clicking the OK button you never know you could have wristwatches you could have jewelry everything that affects your phone's accuracy so try keep anything metal away your cables they also introduce more interference Good luck guys, this Polaris is awesome, you've just got to get the basics right.